this is Said Farm Namulonge. Uh, my name is Jita Moisigwa Alexander, uh, and uh, I work as the operations manager at Said Farm. Uh, but then I also uh, do and head the breeding uh, section of the farm here. Yeah, I work as an artificial inseminator. Uh, yeah, Said Farm Namulonge is uh, a distributorship of uh, Eura Uganda Company. Uh, it's a semen distributing company here in Uganda that brings uh, quality breeds uh, from the US, Canada, Germany, and other European countries. Yeah. Uh, so at Site Farm, uh, we are breeding different uh, breeds of cows here. We are having the Frisian, uh, the Holstein Frisian cow. We also have the Asia. Uh, we have the Jersey cow also. Uh, then we have also recently introduced the breeding of. Uh, uh, the Girando cow, uh, yes. Uh, but then also we we do uh, calf uh, management. Uh, we have our calf section uh, where we have uh, uh, the calves that have just been born, and uh, these are products of the U.S. company. And uh, in doing so, uh, in the breeding, we make sure that uh, we breed with uh, sexed semen. Uh, so that increases our chances of getting uh, female uh, calves. Uh, so, so from the birth of the female calf, uh, we make sure that uh, we put it on a very good nutrition because we want to ensure that this calf, uh, in 16 to 18 months after birth, it should be ready to conceive and uh, give birth. So our efforts are directed towards feeding the cows rightly, uh, good nutrition, uh, good management, and uh, superior genetics. And uh, talking about superior genetics, uh, I can't forget to mention that uh, uh, we work with the U.S. Uh, company, uh, that helps us uh, with the semen. Uh, but uh, being a distributorship of U.S., uh, we also uh, supply semen uh, to the community. Uh, we give people uh, people are able to access semen from here, from the farm. Uh, they buy semen and use it on their cows uh, with an aim of improving production and also uh, uh, improving the efficiency of their farms. Uh, yes. To uh, struggle a lot uh, accessing uh, quality semen and quality breeds. Uh, but uh, with, uh, with the coming of Uras Uganda, uh, we have been able to get uh, quality semen. Uh, usually, uh, it, it used to be either a bull or semen from any other company that usually you, you have no information about the bull that uh, has been used to serve your cow. So, uh, with uh, your semen, we are able to know uh, because there is a catalog, we are able to know about the different traits. We talk about the linear traits of the bull, we talk about the functional traits of the bull. So we are able to select uh, bulls according to our uh, breeding direction. With the use of uh, semen from Uras, we have been able to work on different uh, traits. Uh, number one, I could mention, uh, we, we could look at the trait of uh, uh, milk production. If we have been able to improve from an average of uh, 13 liters per cow to an average of now 22 liters per cow. Yeah. Uh, but then also in terms of temperament, uh, we have been able to see the temperament improve for the cows. Uh, then we have also been able to uh, see the feed efficiency in the cows. Uh, then we have also been able to to, to see that most of these cows that have been bred from uh, the Euras semen uh, are not really so aggressive and kind of fighting like in nature. You know, there are cows that usually fight when they are being milked, but uh, the cows we have here are calm, so they don't need to be uh, maybe uh, manhandled at milking time. So it is always easy to milk them uh, because they are calm. Then the other issue could be about uh, uh, the immunity of the cow. The immunity is superb. 
then you have also been able to uh, work on traits like uh, uh, traits like the teeth length because that we know that it is it is ideal for for people like using milking machines uh, to to have uh, cows that have uh, short teeth because uh, that makes them uh, easy and easy to deal with the milking machine but it also helps uh, prevent uh, mastitis yes